Alright. So we're into the semis and semifinal one is gonna be mono green versus Fletcher Twilight. So we have Jay Hume's mono green list again shown it before. We were just talking about how the tectonic edges probably don't belong in the list. I think I can get behind that. But otherwise I like this list well enough. Seems like a yeah, it seems fine. It seems like a more aggressive sort of thing on the monitor. Accelerate and Uh looking at the list as far as the matchup is concerned, it actually has quite a lot of stuff there that I can see right now. I wonder if acidic slime makes a cut for spell sky. I doubt it. So slow. Yeah. Yeah, it seems very slow. Uh, probably at that point you're just trying to overwhelm the stem feet and kill them. Yeah. What else is there? Probably working out option of a lot. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Um what what are three Baylock? Two Predator probably? I don't know. Predator seems very good with the stem feet, but I guess maybe point out Garrow. Yeah, actually that's probably better. And I guess you can have slots for the Matrix claim. And it's number. That seems fine. Yeah. That's probably how I would board. Yeah, I think that's how I did it too. And okay, and then just quickly the twin list again. Seen it before. Pyroclasm, the last dispel. Unigenic growth, I'm assuming. Or the dismembers, or are the yeah. dismembers just not a big enough deal? And then mental yeah. misstep for nature's claim. Yeah, well, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, you probably don't have that many to take out. If, if he just is. Okay, so Into the Royal is basically dead in this matchup. Yeah, I was just thinking and Into the Royal. I would probably cut the shrines as a, I was saying. Let's like leave the shrines as a backup and see if there's anything else that's better to cut up first. Grim Lava Master seems definitely in to specific image just because hitting the turn one accelerant is so weird. No, I think you have to cut shrines. What it's about the Toxium Probe, maybe? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fine cutting that. I would just, like, assume they always have one or two pieces of ink in hand at all times. Play like that. It's probably going to be pretty obvious against Mono Green, because it's not like they set up a small clock and then rebuild their lamp up. They're, I assume, going to be tapping out into the next one. You can board out one spell pierce, I well, I don't know. Actually, what else? Just that seems quite well, else? No, spell okay. seems hard. Yeah, people want. I I would put out one spell pierce, I think. All right. Yeah, I think boarding like that is probably fine. The other option is not to board mutagenic growth and just lean on dispels to stop dismembers. Because half the time they're not even going to have dismember in hand anyways. Yeah, and that's really the only thing that it is. So if you want if you want to not board in growth, you just leave in pierce and two probes. Cool. Alright. We'll see what they do. Yeah. Uh, that was only four minutes, so let's just go straight into the match. I'm going to stop in. There we go. So, twin wins the roll. It seems like a really big deal in this matchup. Yep. Mono green balls to five. Does that fit up to It seems like mono green can multiply them pretty good. Cool. There's a twisted match. It's pretty good. Or twin. God, I, I'm pretty sure I saw Mono Green lose to like this exact draw in round one. Just 
threatening turn four. I mean, the guy really has to tap out here, though. Definitely. And uh, Leatherback, big loss in hand would be pretty nasty right now. Does it take on a catch? Being ugly. I guess there's like 40% chance we're dead. Or 100% chance. <laughs> it's still only like 99%, surely. You might misclick. I guess hey. Except the guy scooped. Right. That was a pretty quick game one. I, I was fine with him tapping out. There was really nothing he could do, though. Half the time, you just have to play aggressively and tap out. Right. I don't always have it. So mental misstep just hit birds, which is the other reason, I guess, to be bringing in mental misstep. Yeah, that's fine. Seems pretty good. Yeah, hitting birds just seems like it slows them down by like two turns. was boarded in, probably for Baylock. Yeah, it seems like a strict upgrade. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what he cut. Uh, he probably did cut Predators then. Sarking around. Um, so we brought in Mechanic Group. Yeah, so it means he probably doesn't have the probes. And is that it? He has beast with him. No? Maybe no. Just playing. Yeah. So he No, he's not dead because he gained for life. But he has to come. Yeah. And so he's, he's basically dead. Does he have outs in this power? I don't see how he has outs. He would need two power plasmas. And for the guy not to regenerate to him. But Elder is still 5-5. Oh. Well, then he has no outs. Yep. Okay, so... I guess when the green deck wins, it sort of plays like a fish deck in this matchup. Yeah. Just putting out. play a few threats and leave mana open. Yeah. Stepping birds every damn time. And we still have a shot in the day. I I really don't know what this guy boarded out there. I wonder if he maybe brought the triumphs in on the play, just figuring that they were cast up on the thing on the draw or something. Did that guy fail to stack his spawn in response? Yeah, he did. Uh, so the Ness Invader makes an 01 spawn that you can sack to add a colorless. Right. Yeah, the sack in response to twisted damage, obviously. Yeah, to prevent him from drawing a I'm not sure that he did fail. Are you sure that it would it, say? It didn't say. It would say in the chat log uh, it's countered by knowing to have a target of a spell or ability. It, like, it would be countered on resolution. Yeah, he... It looks like he failed. That's awkward. We still have probes in, too. It's, it's also very possible he just bore it completely different on the on the play, obviously. I wonder if he doesn't have Pyroplasm in the deck. Pyroplasm doesn't hit that much. Well, maybe not all it's of It's pretty them. good on the play to just hit mana hit. Like a nest invader and idiot. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would be higher possible. I do wonder. Let's 
be very hard to block, and he's pretty good at blocking. He's hunting for just bow, I think. Uh, so... I'm trying to work this out. So it seems like it would be when you broke the shrine. And he's already seen the other guy's hand, so he knows it's over. But he has to do it. We'll have to click like 38 times or so. You want to watch this? Maybe we can be running while we talk about uh, 21 or something. I mean, we, this is pretty much how we expected the matchup to go. It's not particularly exciting. When I was looking at Mono Green before, I want your opinion on this. The other Mono Green list plays... Where'd it go? It plays Swords, which I think just don't make sense. It's, it's very good versus Blue White, and... Oh, it's good for small oh. red, too. The white and red. This seems fine. I was thinking the Zanets seem really cool to me, and the main deck runs seem like one is really good, but Don't three is great. Yeah. yeah, you only need one. I was wondering if you can play this deck with the Zenith plan. If you play Tree Speaker rather than Birds, you can get a decent amount of mana. Yeah, it seems like it works a lot better with Sword of War and Peace and Big Garrick, which is playing. And then you can play one of like Thrun and Six Slime. And if you find Tree Speaker, it's possible you can be boarding Gears Revenge. If you do that, you might as well just play that old Elf Aggro deck with Mana Shaman and Zuri and Elvish Arch Druid. No but those like cards seem way worse than. Uh, Zuri's actually Thunder real good at killing people. You can play Jungle Elder too. You just wouldn't play Baloth. Baloth seems good. I don't know. Like Azuri is like better than Baloth or something. I don't know what Azuri is. I'm gonna look up Azuri. It's over on a well. How's it spell? E easy. Oh, okay. It's really good in an elf deck, obviously. I don't know, those cards seem like you start losing to Pyroclast. Not really, the deck has like 8 lords. They like kill one in the Pyroclast. Well, the other plan they had was they usually had Vengeline in their deck, so they could just grind out Pyroclast and decks with Vengeline. I mean, there's a lot of ways to build Mono Green now. I just feel like these ways are not the best ways. I don't understand the four Misty Rainforest. I don't understand why you would have four fetch lands. Instead of like eight, or... Or zero. Or zero. Or... Yeah. I wouldn't play any number of fetch lands in this deck. You play my three copies of this map for main. Yeah. So, okay, here's my suspicion. He probably had Lotus Cobra in his deck at some point, and just forgot to pull the fetches. Huh. Or maybe he decided to be a life pick card thing. Well, he is playing three front. So, I'm not sure that it's impossible for him to win an attrition match against Control. And if you're going to do that, spinning your deck of land with Ranger and Rainforest seems pretty good. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, anyway.
talk about this and not let's uh, give our heads against the wall and the light. 